Good, good day, dear viewers. I hope you are well. Today, I want to show you how to export a Tecla structural, a Tecla structures model to Tecla structural designer. So this is my model. You can see I. Um, the first thing you need to do is to select everything. This model is quite simple, so you can either place Control A or just drag your cursor using your cursor to select everything. Okay. Then um, I will expand here. Go to export. Then you can scroll down here. You will see texture structural designer. Uh, place it. Then I'll go to here to my desktop and save it as aircraft hangar three. Save. So we're exporting these for load analysis. And then export selected. Then I can close. So I'll go to my Tecla structural designer. I'll go to home and then new. No, so just need to start a new. Okay. Now we'll give it a few minutes to load. Not a minute, it's just a few seconds to load depends on your computer so i'll go to bim integration make sure you select bim integration and then you can see all these options we need to pick structural import click on the three dots and i'll scroll down you can see we are restricted to cxl file i have this excel file i'll um I'll pick this and then open. You can see the Tecla structure, the version of Tecla structure. You can just um, click next. You can see the unit system, the regional code, and everything. Next, 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 and then finish. Give it a few seconds to load. Now here is our check structures model. Um, including the staircase. So now we can perform a uh, analysis. Um, we first need to add loadings. So um. But we need to add maybe the roof panel and the roof panel from there, there, then back to the origin. The other side there. there. Then back to origin. You can add the wall panels. Um, there. Just click this corner to change. Okay. Then um, 
we can assign the loading uh, load cases all these load cases combination you just uh we can add combinations here then maybe a uh, combination one 1.2 um of that dead load add um, 1.6 live load then just to exclude this then add live load then roof live load and then add a 1.4 dead load dead load plus 1.6 live load so we're going to add all this live load okay then just um or just generate other then just finish you have generated other load cases then okay good load wind wizard next next my speed of wind and closed next then finish then can go to loads can go to um we go to first we go to pick these panels holding control select the panel go to load now uh down here we have selected none so I need to select the type of load here i select uh dead load then I want um area now this only for a roof I just reduce it to five and then place it then I'll change the load type here to live load the roof live load then or maybe just roof live load then area change this on to 25 psf 25 then just pick i go again to loadings um csp load wizard select it my time period maybe three seconds And next, one percent, five percent, then next, then finish. then we can go to analysis analyze all give it a few minutes and then we do the design go to design uh, for steel members perform gravity design So we can pick all of these. Make sure um, what 
we are using is recognizable in Tecla Structural Designer because maybe the issue is the material. So I can maybe select everything, fabrication, rotation. So if we have auto design, you can see the way our class structure, structure structures does. Um, but um, I think I did not, there's something missing. I have some flow loads here, which I did not include. So I will go to loads. Um, I will go to slab. Let's model a slab here. Um, We need to model a slab and at this point. Okay. Yeah. Click enter. So let's add it just as a flow load. So we'll go to load, um, area load. Maybe add, um, I'd not add my panel, so. That's why uh, this, um, the design has changed so much. You can see it has also changed my shapes, the shape of uh, trusses and uh, everything. So let's see. Model. Okay, I'll model another slab here. Back to the origin. Again. Um. Yeah. So we need to rotate this model. Mm -hmm. Pick that corner. Then um slab on beams. Yeah. Okay, so I can see the error. 
skip it click that corner then change um then change on this corner there then back to origin we have a slab here giving me some trouble Change this corner. So let's just add a uh, load to the slab. Slab load. 125 PSF. That this will be now changed to live load. Let's place it here. On there, okay. Just delete this on um, one. Going to place another. Um, So let's perform the design. Still design. Also, some members are missing, so that's how you. But this is just after the design. So this is how you can do design of a model in terms of structures. I will end the video here. Um, maybe I will solve this issue in another video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.